we are here in Montreal. Hello friends, welcome. It is day one, well officially day one. I woke up a little bit later today because I went to bed quite late last night. But a tip a friend gave me was that you should wake up whenever you want. It's your solo trip. You get to decide what you want to do. You're in charge of your itinerary. I walked over to the old port and I'm here now. Today is just a sightseeing day, so let's go explore. I don't know if you can see how vibrant the colors are, but it's gorgeous. This city is beautiful. Okay, I just had lunch and went to a few shops. The little duck shop is adorable and like, sorry, crossing the street, absolutely hilarious. Like some of their messaging is so funny. And then I checked out Essence, which was like such a nice bougie experience. I don't know, I don't think I'm cut out for this. But the like layout and way they displayed their clothes was so pretty. Um, the people there were also super nice. <laughs> like smaller than I thought it was gonna be but that's okay I bought some things for Isabel and mom I swear every single student here is like dressed to the nines like everyone looks so good there is no way that I would look this good at school every day I think the plan is to perhaps try to get up to Mont Royal. There is 30 minutes until sunset, so hopefully I can get up there in time, but we will see. I made it up the 400 stairs apparently. I am so tired, but I made it and it's beautiful. I had some people take photos of me, hopefully they turned out, but coming at sunset was a great idea. I think I'm just gonna sit, journal a little bit, listen to some music, and then go find some dinner. Also at Montreal, there were so many people running and biking, and I feel like this is adorable and like such a beautiful place to do it. Maybe if I had this, I'd be more motivated to run myself, but those Friday runs didn't last very long. <laughs> okay, we're trying Disney Plus because there was a Disney Plus button. I have decided to watch Jump In. I think I'm just gonna lay here for a bit, maybe take a nap and then go for dinner later. That is the plan. One nap later and one jump in movie later, I am headed to dinner. I was craving mac and cheese, so I just searched up um, like mac and cheese places and picked the one closest to me. Seems like a 16 minute walk, so not too bad. I changed as well, and I'm just gonna put on my puffer because it's cold outside. But yes, let's go. We are continuing our throwback and going to watch the Lizzie McGuire movie. We have switched to Netflix. I'm feeling like a dancing movie perhaps. Hello, I finished my movie. It was actually so good. Like I cried good. But that's it for day one. So thank you and good night. Bye.
Let's go shopping. I lie awake in bed for hours. We have acquired takeout. I think that's the half that you go for takeout because the line to sit inside was so long. Shooting this one, elevating my knee because it hurts, and it will be off. Love me a good Advil liquid gel. Just gonna just take some Advil. Hello, we are parked on a bench because my knee is really hurting. I don't know if the Advil is doing anything. We're just gonna take a short break. I'm in a little park, it's very cute. I've been to a few like thrift stores. Very cool, like they have a lot of cool things. There are a few more stores here, so we're gonna go check them out after we feel better. You got your list of expectations. So why won't you save my number? I bought like a little trench coat. It was like $12. Since I'm going into more like little boutiques and stuff, they speak to me in French when I come in. I have had way too many conversations where I've embarrassed myself, but it's very cute. They say like bonjour, hi, whenever you enter. So I, I guess depending on whether you reply in French or in English, and they will continue that conversation in that language. I want it so bad, y'all. Hello, I finally got out of the store. I was there for so long because I couldn't decide what I wanted, but I got the Kiki print. I'm very happy about it. Tell me you wish things were different. You don't want to make a These houses, man. And when will I be neighbors with someone like this? That's adorable. If I was a house in Montreal, I'd be this one. Oh my god, what it would be like to be a meal man in Montreal where you have to go up each of these neighbors' stairs. Aren't the balconies adorable? I made it to the market. It's very cute just to walk the stalls and all the fruits and vegetables. I kind of want to go get some ice cream, but it's like a 30 minute walk away and I think it's an hour and a bit back home. If you don't want to burn yeah. Ice cream has been acquired. I guess that's it. Good night. Okay, hello, it is 11 and I still have an hour before my shops open but I'm pretty much done the gay village, nothing much was there. I think it's pretty dead during the day. I may head over to that area anyways because there may be a thrift shop that I think I could go to. Mornings literally seem so peaceful. People are just like on their porch, just standing there, chilling, vibing. Basically, I stopped by a little boutique and so I went in and I was like looking around the store and I was passing the cashier because I was looking at the rings and she like stopped me and thought that she recognized me and so she was like, is this your first time or like have you been back? And I was like, oh no, I'm visiting from Vancouver and she was like, oh that's so cool. We literally talked about everything. I was there for like an hour. I bought some tickets for the um, art gallery. So I'm headed home now to go change before I head out again because I think I'm gonna be out late and it's gonna get cold. So we'll do a little outfit change and then get back out. But truly this conversation made my day. I cannot describe it in any other way and it was like absolutely adorable and like super wholesome and pure. I guess these are the travel stories that you don't think you're gonna get until 
you do. So this is a very nice highlight of the trip, I think. We went for a comfy, cozy look. <laughs> okay, let's go. Bye. my fault but some of the exhibitions close at 5 no worries so I basically left at like 5 20 ish and I'm really hungry because I didn't have too much for lunch so I'm headed over to ramen hello so my phone is currently dying and I kind of freaked out in the ramen place but I am now in Dollarama as you can see to try to see if I could find a plug in thing. My battery pack ran out of batteries. So I have the cord, all I need is like the cube thing. I think I found it. I think I need this one. Okay. Now we're going to go buy this and then sit in a mall somewhere next to an outlet like a loser. But it's fine, thank God for dollar grandma. Hello, I have found a spot in the mall. I am connected to the wall. I have about an hour before my comedy show starts and I did go check out the venue. I'll probably arrive at like 7.45 because it starts at eight. So yeah, just gonna sit here for a little bit in my squatting position. I think it's been about an hour now. I have just been sitting on this bench and wrote a little bit. I'm thinking of starting a newsletter in the new year. So I wrote my first entry. We'll see how it goes. Honestly, it may not even come to fruition as I'm talking about it. And maybe I'll just stay in my notes forever. So other than that, then head out to the McCord Museum. pretty small to be honest. I thought I would spend longer here but it's been like 45 minutes. I went to the Miguel bookstore, got something for dad. I think I'm gonna keep the bag though. This is real cute. I got my bubble tea, it was really good. They had really cool flavors here. And what's interesting is that this bubble tea shop is like right next to this gym. The boba shop dude thought I was a local and gave me some like coupons. I don't know if I'll ever be back, but thanks man, I appreciate it. After that, I want to get a piercing. I want to get a rook piercing. I remember passing like quite a few tattoo and piercing places on St. Denis, which is my street. So I think I'll be like pretty close to where I am. And there's also quite a few food places on St. Denis as well. So I think I'm just gonna grab lunch at one of those little shops and then we will go from there. Well, I got it done. Honestly, this one didn't hurt that bad. My middle one here hurt more, so this one, was like a walk in the park. This is literally the best sandwich I've ever had.